Hey guys and welcome to another one of my videos. It's been a while um, since I've made one and it's just got so much work at home with a home refurb so all being well uh, from now I should start um, putting some more videos on about the stuff what we can do and what's achievable with home automation. So I've got a new video out for the advertising and I've got some posts on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter um, with projects that I've done and pictures etc so that should give you an idea of what I've been doing over the last few months but this video is all about the installer access um, as most of you know nice group have taken over the Fibaro group and they're reorganizing things so uh, that also means getting the installer access is sorted out and mine's finally been done the advantage of that is I can then monitor a home center. So everybody's I install, so all my clients, etc., they will grant me installer access, which gives me monitoring access, so that enables me to monitor the home center. Um, if I need to log in, um, I can click on a button for emailing. That'll send you an email. You'll then uh, respond to the email, so you don't have to be in front of your home center. Once you've responded, that again gives me access to the home center and then I can log in uh, with my installer ID. So I don't even need to know any usernames and passwords, etc. It just gets me straight in there, providing you give me permission. So let's see how to do this. So first thing first, you need to open your home center, go on to the main screen and then once you've logged in, hit configuration. Once it's in configuration, click on the access control tab and then scroll down to where it says add installer. So I'll click on add installer and then in the installer's email, um, you'll just type in the installer's email address. So if you're one of my clients, it'll be info at yorkshireautomation.co.uk. This one's always automatically ticked, monitor my home center. Uh, perform remote actions is not always ticked. And that's only if I needed access straight away. But I'm gonna demo the email side of things. So we'll just keep that ticked. Click on add installer. And that's it. That part is now done. So once it's done, you can quit that's it it's all done um i've seen on my other screen that i have uh, have had an email saying that i've been granted permission so let's log into the installer app so here's a list of my home centers um that i'm monitoring at the moment so there's just 10 and here's mine so what i'll do is i'll just click on details that then loads up the details page for 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 my home center it gives you the serial number, the statuses, the names and uh, owner emails. Home center access status is confirmed. Monitoring is allowed, but remote actions are not allowed. And notifications are email and push, etc. So that's all all sorted. If I click on the status, it just gives me a break list of what lights are actually on on the home center. If I click on services, that just tells me that all the services are actually up and running and all okay. So everything's functioning as it should be. Click on devices, then this just, once it's loaded, I've got quite a few, gives me a list of all the devices that I've got on my home center. So I've got 168 physical devices. Um, they're all connected. Tells me how they are connected, whether it's direct or indirect, and on some of them, communication. So the 168 is not, it's things like a multi-sensor has three devices. So that's like a motion sensor, temperature sensor and light level sensor. So that's how it counts them. So it's not actually 168 modules. And then we've got statuses for the batteries, which is, uh, so some are on medium, some are on full. And it just gives me a little breakdown here of what each one uh, on uh, the battery levels are, communications, etc. So this just gives me a quick overview that everything is okay. 
software wise if I click on the software tab it tells me what firmware version whether it's up to date and lists uh, my previous backups that I've got so here we can actually do remote um, updates so need to test that to make sure it does work properly as intended um, hear all these stories but um, it should be alright so that's all okay so now let's test the email I want to get access so I'm gonna say request access so the request has been sent so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to log into my uh, email and um, grant myself access so here's my email that I've received um, from the installers website so it says here Yorkshire Automation is requiring access permission to my home center so do I accept it or deny so I'll give, say accept it then opens up the remote access login page so now I need, just need to log in with my details Once I've uh, logged in, it asks here permission granted because I've accepted it. And then um, I just click on OK and that's it. It's done. Now, if I go back to my other screen and I refresh this page, oh, it auto wrapped. Mine is here. Access allowed. So now all I have to do is click on, and it can see the time limit has started for 24 hours. So if I click on Access Home Center, that then takes me straight into my Home Center 2 without the need of knowing your usernames or passwords. So this way it means that all your details are still secured and I can work on the Home Center without um, access required. Uh, sorry, without knowing any details and it's all covered and at the top right hand corner as you can see here it tells you I've logged who I've logged in as there so and it also keeps a log under there as well of who's logged in and now I have access to all the devices and also um, all the scenes so I can just click on uh, the scenes and we can make any changes do any maintenance work update the scenes write new scenes uh, updates etc so all that can be done so there you have it on how we can use the installer access to help monitor the system help update the system and keep your system running in good shape like I said before all every all my customers will have 12 months of access free of charge as part of the package that I do and for anybody else after that it's either £10 per month or £100 per year and there you have it uh, if you need any more information anything like that feel free to send me a message uh, email call me etc etc so thanks for watching and uh, bye for now